Numbers chapter 7 When Moses finished setting up the tabernacle, he anointed and consecrated it and all its furnishings. He also anointed and consecrated the altar and all its utensils. Then the leaders of Israel, the heads of families who were the tribal leaders in charge of those who were counted, made offerings. They brought as their gifts before the Lord six covered carts and twelve oxen, an ox from each leader and a cart from every two. These they presented before the tabernacle. The Lord said to Moses, Accept these from them, that they may be used in the work at the tent of meeting. Give them to the Levites as each man's work requires. So Moses took the carts and oxen and gave them to the Levites. He gave two carts and four oxen to the Gershonites as their work required, and he gave four carts and eight oxen to the Merarites as their work required. They were all under the direction of Ithamar, son of Aaron, the priest. But Moses did not give any to the Kohathites, because they were to carry on their shoulders the holy things for which they were responsible. When the altar was anointed, the leaders brought their offerings for its dedication and presented them before the altar. For the Lord had said to Moses, Each day one leader is to bring his offering for the dedication of the altar. The one who brought his offering on the first day was Nachshon, son of Aminadab, of the tribe of Judah. His offering was one silver plate weighing a hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing seventy shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing ten shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb, a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs, a year old, to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Nashon, son of Aminadab. On the second day, Nathanel, son of Zuar, the leader of Issachar, brought his offering. The offering he brought was one silver plate weighing a hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing seventy shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing ten shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old, to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Nathanael, son of Zuar. On the third day, Elihab, son of Helon, the leader of the people of Zebulon, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing a hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing seventy shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing ten shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Elihab, son of Helon. On the fourth day, Eliza, son of Shediah, the leader of the people of Reuben, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing a hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing seventy shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing ten shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Eliza, son of Shediah. On the fifth day, Shalumiel, son of Zuri Shadei, the leader of the people of Simeon, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing a hundred and thirty shekels, 
and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing seventy shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing ten shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Shalumiel, son of Zuri Shaddai. On the sixth day, Eliasaph, son of Duel, the leader of the people of Gad, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing a hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing seventy shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing ten shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Eliasaph, son of Duel. On the seventh day, Elishama, son of Amihud, the leader of the people of Ephraim, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing a hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing seventy shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing ten shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Elishama, son of Amihud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, son of Pedazah, the leader of the people of Manasseh, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing a hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing seventy shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing ten shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old, to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Gamaliel, son of Padazah. On the ninth day, Abidan, son of Gideonai, the leader of the people of Benjamin, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing a hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing seventy shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing ten shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old, to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Abidan, son of Gideonai. On the tenth day, Ahiza, son of Amishadei, the leader of the people of Dan, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing a hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing seventy shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing ten shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old, to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Ahiza, son of Amishadei. On the eleventh day, Pagiel, son of Okron, the leader of the people of Asher, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing a hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing seventy shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, 
each filled with the finest flour, mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing ten shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Pagiel, son of Ochran. On the twelfth day, Ahira, son of Enan, the leader of the people of Naphtali, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing a hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing seventy shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with the finest flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold dish weighing ten shekels, filled with incense. One young bull, one ram, and one male lamb, a year old for a burnt offering. One male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs, a year old, to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Ahira, son of Enan. These were the offerings of the Israelite leaders for the dedication of the altar when it was anointed: twelve silver plates, twelve silver sprinkling bowls, and twelve gold dishes. Each silver plate weighed a hundred and thirty shekels, and each sprinkling bowl seventy shekels. Altogether, the silver dishes weighed two thousand four hundred shekels, according to the sanctuary shekel. The twelve gold dishes, filled with incense, weighed ten shekels each. According to the sanctuary shekel, altogether the gold dishes weighed a hundred and twenty shekels. The total number of animals for the burnt offering came to twelve young bulls, twelve rams, and twelve male lambs a year old, together with their grain offering. Twelve male goats were used for the sin offering. The total number of animals for the sacrifice of the fellowship offering came to twenty-four oxen, sixty rams. Sixty male goats and sixty male lambs a year old. These were the offerings for the dedication of the altar after it was anointed. When Moses entered the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him from between the two cherubim above the atonement cover on the ark of the covenant law. In this way, the Lord spoke to him. Numbers chapter eight. The Lord said to Moses, "Speak to Aaron and say to him, 'When you set up the lamps, see that all seven light up the area in front of the lampstand.'" Aaron did so. He set up the lamps so that they faced forwards on the lampstand, just as the Lord commanded Moses. This is how the lampstand was made. It was made of hammered gold, from its base to its blossoms. The lampstand was made exactly like the pattern the Lord had shown Moses. The Lord said to Moses, "Take the Levites from among all the Israelites and make them ceremonially clean. To purify them, do this: sprinkle the water of cleansing on them, then make them shave their whole bodies and wash their clothes, and so they will purify themselves." Make them take a young bull with its grain offering of the finest flour mixed with olive oil. Then you are to take a second young bull for a sin offering. Bring the Levites to the front of the tent of meeting, and assemble the whole Israelite community. You are to bring the Levites before the Lord, and the Israelites are to lay their hands on them. Aaron is to present the Levites before the Lord as a wave offering from the Israelites. So that they may be ready to do the work of the Lord. Then the Levites are to lay their hands on the heads of the bulls, using one for a sin offering to the Lord and the other for a burnt offering, to make atonement for the Levites. Make the Levites stand in front of Aaron and his sons, and then present them as a wave offering to the Lord. In this way, you are to set the Levites apart from the other Israelites. And the Levites will be mine. After you have purified the Levites and presented them as a wave offering, 
they are to come to do their work at the tent of meeting. They are the Israelites who are to be given wholly to me. I have taken them as my own, in place of the firstborn, the first male offspring from every Israelite woman. Every firstborn male in Israel, whether human or animal, is mine. When I struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, I set them apart for myself. And I have taken the Levites in place of all the firstborn sons in Israel. From among all the Israelites, I have given the Levites as gifts to Aaron and his sons to do the work at the tent of meeting on behalf of the Israelites and to make atonement for them so that no plague will strike the Israelites when they go near the sanctuary. Moses, Aaron, and the whole Israelite community did with the Levites just as the Lord commanded Moses. The Levites purified themselves and washed their clothes. Then Aaron presented them as a wave offering before the Lord and made atonement for them to purify them. After that, the Levites came to do their work at the tent of meeting under the supervision of Aaron and his sons. They did with the Levites just as the Lord commanded Moses. The Lord said to Moses, This applies to the Levites. Men twenty-five years old or more shall come to take part in the work of the tent of meeting, but at the age of fifty they must retire from their usual duties and work no longer. They may assist their brothers in performing their duties at the tent of meeting, but they themselves must not do the work. This, then, is how you are to assign the responsibilities of the Levites. Psalm 44 We have heard it with our ears, O God. Our ancestors have told us what you did in their days, in days long ago. With your hand you drove out the nations and planted our ancestors. You crushed the peoples and made our ancestors flourish. It was not by their sword that they won the land, nor did their arm bring them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, for you loved them. You are my king and my God, who decrees victories for Jacob. Through you we push back our enemies, through your name we trample our foes. I put no trust in my bow, my sword does not bring me victory. But you give us victory over our enemies, you put our adversaries to shame. In God we make our boast all day long, and we will praise your name forever. But now you have rejected and humbled us. You no longer go out with our armies. You made us retreat before the enemy, and our adversaries have plundered us. You gave us up to be devoured like sheep, and have scattered us among the nations. You sold your people for a pittance, gaining nothing from their sale. You have made us a reproach to our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations. The peoples shake their heads at us. I live in disgrace all day long, and my face is covered with shame at the taunts of those who reproach and revile me because of the enemy who is bent on revenge. All this came upon us, though we had not forgotten you. We had not been false to your covenant. Our hearts had not turned back. Our feet had not strayed from your path. But you crushed us and made us a haunt for jackals. You covered us over with deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God or spread out our hands to a foreign God, would not God have discovered it, since he knows the secrets of the heart? Yet for your sake we face death all day long, we are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Awake, Lord, why do you sleep? Rouse yourself, do not reject us forever. 
Why do you hide your face and forget our misery and oppression? We are brought down to the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Rise up and help us. Rescue us because of your unfailing love.